This is actually a breaking news story. Just came out just moments ago. This came out in TC Palm, February 22nd, 2019. Patriots owner Robert Kraft charged with soliciting prostitution in Florida spa. And this coffin ready looking man right here is Robert Kraft. You know, it, you know, here's the thing. In America, if you got money, they think that is the reason why you give someone mega respect. And see, they don't go by the deeds of the person. They go by the wallet size. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how America works. But let's get into this story. New England Patriot owner Robert Kraft was charged with two counts of soliciting prostitution in connection with a Florida spa tied to an international human trafficking ring, police said Friday. And believe me, most of these millionaires, they know that. They know that already. The NFL owner was charged with paying for sexual services at Orchards of Asia Day Spa in Jupiter. The spa was among 10 shut down in the Orlando area, Palm Beach County, and the Treasure Coast after a seven month investigation revealed women there were in sexual servitude, according to arrest records. Now, come on, that man, don't he look like he's coughing ready, y'all? close his eyes. It'll look like he belongs in a coffin. A detective said the acts were captured on surveillance video. So they caught this old decrepit ass man that owns the Patriots in action on a video. I mean, seriously, do you want to see this man with his clothes off? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Kraft, 77, who has yet been arrested on the misdemeanor charge, according to the Jupiter Police Department. We categorically deny that Mr. Kraft engaged in any illegal activity, a spokesman for Kraft said in a statement. Because it is a judicial matter, we will not be commenting any further. It doesn't matter, y'all. Kraft is a millionaire, and we know what millionaires do in America when they get caught up in the criminal system here. They just buy their way out. Who do I have to pay to make this go away? That kind of thing. Kraft bought the Patriots in 1994 for $172 million. He is the head of the Kraft Group a holding company with investments in a number of industries, including sports and real estate. He's worth an estimated $6.6 billion, according to Forbes.com. Like I said, he'll be paying people off to make it go away. That's what rich people in America do. Kraft is a longtime seasonal resident of Palm Beach County, according to the Palm Beach Daily News. Under Kraft's ownership, the Patriots have played in 10 Super Bowls and have won a record tying six Super Bowl championships. Human trafficking. An investigation into the spa, which opened in 2012, began in October. Surveillance revealed a steady stream of male clients at an undescript business in a Jupiter Strip Center. Between 9 a.m. and 11.30 p.m., they would stay for 30 minutes to an hour, arrest record show. Women, many of them from China, lived inside and were not permitted to leave, detectives learned. Police found napkins coated with uh, seminal fluid in a trash receptacle outside the spa on more than one occasion, excuse me, condoms were rarely used according to arrest warrants. Okay. 
wow, is this one of the women? You should have used a condom. <laughs> no, I think that's the owner of the spa. The owner of that spa, Hua Zeng, 58, of Winter Garden, was arrested and charged with deriving support from the proceeds of prostitution, keeping and frequently a house of prostitution and 26 counts of procuring for prostitution. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder believed women in the spas were supplied by human traffickers with ties to China and New York. Millions began to be seized and about 300 arrest warrants were issued this week in connection with the 10 spas. And they're showing you each one right here listed. Yeah, it look like they're all in Florida right here, all 10 of them. All right. Am I surprised? No. I believe rich people in this country are tied up in all kinds of illegal activity. It's just that because they're rich, nobody bothers them or call them out on their crimes. So this little petty thing this man got into, it, it, it ain't going to be nothing. He's a billionaire. He'll, like I said, just pay a few people off and it will disappear from the news. That's generally what happens. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.